was a little windy in some areas, but we are warming up. I mean, take a look at our temperature change in the last 24 hours. Everyone on this map except for Frisco is anywhere from 10 to 20 degrees warmer than yesterday at this time. So it's uh, thankfully not into the 80s and 90s type of warm up. But right now we're sitting at 65 in Denver, 64 in Greeley, 68 out in Burlington, 40s, 60s in the high country. So actually really, really beautiful today. Early Elizabeth Dent in West Greeley had 43 this morning in our almanac, 70 degrees in Denver today, 69 degrees downtown, 81 is our average. So we're still below average, but I think 70 is pretty perfect. We just had a streak of that. I would be in a good mood. Let's look at our temperatures for this month. So far, we have had five days below normal and those five days below normal, at least this week, the four of them have been pretty shocking to the system down to the 40s for a couple of days. But we forget that not that long ago, it was really hot around here 101 last Saturday. So again, it was really a toasty and we're going to see some more red boxes as we head into next week. Let's check in with our satellite and radar. The very last little bit of that area of low pressure that we have been dealing with since Tuesday is now moving on. You can see the swirl up into parts of uh, Nebraska and into Wyoming and South Dakota. Even the fringes of that go all the way up into North Dakota. So here again is that big area of low pressure. It was so powerful, so dominant for us, and it is going to cruise toward the Midwest tonight. They get the wet weather and uh, some cooler temperatures. Not actually looking at a lot of snow, though. Looking at our forecast into Sunday, and as we head into the weekend, you'll notice almost all of the western United States is going to stay very dry, and that's because of this area of high pressure. So we're in for a warmer weekend, and as we head into early next week, that summer heat is definitely making a comeback. And as that area of low pressure sort of moves a little bit closer to Colorado, it weakens the winds in the northwest. We were just talking about some of the fire in that area. Of course, they need the calmer wind. Now, our future cast for tonight, it's the first time all week that I have had nothing to show you on the future cast. It will be clear and dry uh, throughout the night tonight and through tomorrow, once, especially once that rain leaves the northern part of the state. Tonight, you're looking at 47 in Denver, 46 in Boulder, 30s, 40s in the high uh, out uh, east, and then we have the 30s and 20s in the high country. So it's that time of year where the high country starts to get a little bit chilly out there. But tomorrow, 79 in Denver, 77 in Boulder, 78 out in Burlington. So nice mild temperatures. We're not too hot just yet, 60s, 70s in the high country. And as we look at our five-day forecast, nothing but sunshine for the next several days. I wish I had another round of rain to show you, but uh, some of the models are showing maybe in uh, maybe in the plus four more forecast or after that, we might start to get a little bit more moisture our way. But we're at 87 on Monday, 90 on Tuesday. So again, summer's not done with us just yet. All right, Lauren.